The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chief A. Soon. <laughs> What's this? Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, uh, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoia'tael carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in.
find it? No. Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Time to shine! Get him! Tiana from the square tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Sultan. Get out. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure do you. <laughs> the sails are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Sultan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. Believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Billson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Billson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Sultan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Now you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? 
Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Robbie's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Shivi! She's our Belzen. Remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar? The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, well that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what if it's handles and eager fighters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently. I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Happened to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. I'm uh, not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals? She's up at Care Morhen. Live bait. You see, Chibi? You'll make a good angler yet, in some 50, 60 years. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. In a bit. No! You've forgotten why we've come? How are we gonna get pitched in one bottle? Fine, going. Sure, blame that on us too. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? Um, I 
looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawers open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Dining set from which Emperor Mir ate during his coronation ceremony. Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Such a bit of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, pop to you, lads. Haven't you got all day? <laughs> I can use a pipe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. 
Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. <sighs> if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by her house when I get a chance. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. <laughs>